It's a question we're often asked on topgear.com. What is the world's best off-roader? Well, there's the Land Rover Defender, there's the Land Rover Discovery, there's, well, Land Rovers basically, but as I found out today, there is another way and it's called the Suzuki Ignis. I should probably explain why it's in the Top Gear car park here today. It's part of a film that stars Rory and Sabine. Their mission is to get to the top of a hill in Scotland. Go! Come on, Ignis! Reed is in the lead! The river! Now this hill is only two feet short of actually being classified a mountain. So the idea is to scrabble to the top, build two feet's worth of rubble and name it, well, whatever they want to name it basically, but Top Gear gets its own mountain. That's the idea. Back to the car. We know and love the Ignis. It's such a cool little mini pseudo SUV thing. The inspiration behind this car, weirdly, is sitting over there. Uh, it's a blue thing called the Wizkid. It's a K car from the 70s. It's actually a rear engine, rear wheel drive, sort of mini coupe thing. But look, if your inspiration comes from that, this car's all right with me. Back to the modifications, because this thing needed off-road prowess. It needed to get to the top of that hill. And at the front, a winch, a tow hook, simple stuff this, really simple. Um, Dunlop Sport Max tires, bit more tread, bit more width, steel wheels. I stand by the fact that every single car in the universe looks better on steel wheels. A roof rack, of course, for that ultimate rugged look and more wheels. I think they were planning on getting quite a few punctures. Um, and yes, just some scratches and dents dotted around the place. But there is some consumer advice coming up because this thing to buy new is what, 14, 15 grand? Pretty much all these bits you can get in your local Halfords. Compared to a Land Rover, this thing is gonna cost you pennies. So save tens of thousands of pounds. Don't buy a Land Rover, get one of these.